Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I've just put a cat's eye effect polish on these tips. I haven't made them cat's eye. It was just the fact I really like the... It's a gold, but it's like an antique gold. Do you know what I mean? It, it's, it's, not a, it's not a bright, vibrant gold. It's a little bit more toned down. Hmm. So I got this inspiration from a picture from my friend um it was these they look like abstract plants that were made out but they were sculptures and they lit up in the dark and i thought they look brilliant <laughs> like they are amazing i wonder if i can recreate this a little bit so that's why i chose that background because it will just help make it all pop a little bit i'm using the ven and lisa mud gels which i love as you can tell there's been a lot going on in these videos with this but you know that i've, I've got to test them <laughs> um yeah i like i like these products i've been putting off this voiceover i really have because i'm like i'm just painting i'm, I'm just painting I, I don't know how i can waffle for that amount of time <laughs> whilst I paint um and so I thought oh I'll wait until something interesting has happened in my day and I can tell you about that but nothing interesting has been happening either um so <laughs> yeah I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna go with this one um like I say it, it's it's abstract based and it's all abstract geometric shapes there is no kind of I was going to say there's no pattern to this or there's no... The, like I said, I, I saw the inspiration and it wasn't like a recreation. I wanted to take from that and make like these abstracty trees um, that's going to go across these three nails. Um, if you wanted to make this as a set, then I would just put like a, a, a dark colour on the other two nails, um, like a brown or a dark, uh, like a black or a dark brown um, or even like a red or a blue. I mean, you could really do whatever with this, to be honest. Um, I can't see most people putting this on a set of nails themselves. <laughs> but I don't care. I had fun. I really enjoyed just sitting and painting and playing. And it, it was fun. I enjoyed it a lot, even though I have no words to say about it. Basically, because I've just left left this to flow. So this is literally from the point in which these tips were prepped and ready all the way through. And I'm just letting the video go. It is sped up, so you can slow it down if you want to. Apparently, there is a way you can do that on your videos. I did not know this. I know not a surprise because I'm totally not tech savvy whatsoever. Um, but my sister was showing me this video of <laughs> this guy that um, restores paintings. And he's he's got a lovely voice, but he talks so slowly whilst we do this. And then this happens. And it's all lovely because it's in this kind of tones. And it would be perfect for like bedtime stories for your children or to help you to go to sleep at night, like a meditation app. Um, <laughs> so my sister speeds him up, so he's actually talking what we would class as a normal, uh, normal speed, which is brilliant. I'm like, oh, can you put me as a Smurf? Like, Maybe don't read really quickly like this. There was no words actually formed in any of that, so don't try to, you know make me go slower in the hope that you will hear anything <laughs> it wasn't a subliminal message message going on <laughs> oh dear oh i do at least make myself laugh um <laughs> so yeah you you can slow me down you can speed me up whatever you fancy um but yeah i i, I like seeing the process i like sitting and watching these types of videos um where you just watch exactly what they're doing some people they make the most beautiful 
you know, the, the hand painting and everything. But they've sped it up and then it's like it cuts and cuts and cuts and cuts and cuts. And I'm like, but I'm trying to look at your, your brush angle and the, you know, I'm, I'm just, just leave it be. Just, just let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. I should probably count how many videos I have sung that song in. I mean, thank God I didn't sing the whole song at you because, you know, I like you. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to subject you to me trying to hit some high notes because, you know, that ain't happening. I used to be a, um, in a choir and I was classed as a soprano one, which means, you know, I could hit the really, really high notes. But as I've got older, my voice has just deepened. Um, and I, I, I haven't been in, I mean, I was like 12. <laughs> so we're definitely, definitely not hitting those notes anymore. <laughs> in fact, I don't sing a lot anymore either. Well, I do, but I tend to, I, I lip sync basically, you know, if, if anybody's watching me, so it, it, I've got a conservatory on the back of my house that's got my gym equipment in it. And of course, you know, when, you, when you're working out, you've got to have some serious music going on, right? And it can, my music choices can vary all over. I can be having some power ballads. I can be having some like heavy metal. I could be having um, a soundtrack to a film, you know, whatever. But there'll just be that song that comes on that you just want to sing to. And I look like Bridget Jones, you know, I haven't quite got the hairbrush in my hand because I'm jamming on a treadmill and that would just be a dangerous thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, me, treadmill, singing to my heart's content. How I have not killed myself, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but only of my neighbours looking out the window at this point <laughs> may think that I'm suffering from, a, you know, like having a heart attack or or some kind of seizure. <laughs> Especially if I'm trying to jog. Yeah, me and jogging. I am not built for jogging, right? Um, you know, I am not a petite, um, small woman. I, I can be a rugby player. Um, I'm, I'm 5'7 and I'm built well. Um, and, you know, I've, I've, I've got big boobs, big ass. It, it, it's not designed for lots of uh, running and jogging and, and stuff like that it really is I'm not built for it um <laughs> so it, it's not like you know if, if you got that image of some you know gym gym junkie you know in their lycra and yeah let's party let's go let's enjoy this yeah I am just totally on it no no I'm the one dying <laughs> The uncoordinated elephant at the back of a room. <laughs> Who is giving it a go? I will give it my all. It will not look pretty. <laughs> it will not necessarily be in the same direction <laughs> as everybody else. Um, but I will try. <laughs> it's part of the reasons why I have... Um, like, I've got my own gym stuff at home, you know, I've got a treadmill and I've got a weights bench, like, we're not going, like, full gym here, people, really not, um, and I have my bike, which is an outdoor bike, so I can go ride my bike, in fact, I may go on a bike ride today, actually, because the sun's out and it's looking quite nice, and I haven't been on my bike for ages, um, because it's been dark, and yes, I have lights, but it's not enjoyable, when it is freezing and it is pitch black and I cannot see what I am cycling at. <laughs> you know, not fun. Um, so, yeah, I, you know, so we'll, we'll use the term gym lightly there. And you are most welcome for now the image you all have in your head of me <laughs> on a treadmill. <laughs> At least I don't take myself seriously, right? I I I love to eat, right? I love food. I am I am not a dieting kind of person. Dieting basically means mass murder will happen because I am a very hangry person. And any of my friends know the minute I say I'm hungry, you've got 30 minutes in which to feed me, or I turn into a very different person. Um 
if I'm caffeinated and I'm fed and I've had I've had some sleep, I'm a very happy person. You know, I'm all good. But if if but when I'm getting hungry, I honestly I can turn into a toddler. And then the worst thing, the worst thing that could possibly happen is you'll be like, we're looking forward to this meal, right? And it's all booked and we're going to go and have that meal. And then it's horrible, right? I am like a toddler having a tantrum. I'm like, it's just not good enough. I have waited. I am now hungry. This food has let me down. <laughs> and my husband is downstairs listening to this voiceover and he's probably nodding his head going, yep, <laughs> yep, that is what you're like. Um... So yeah, I am. Um, I I I don't want to be a skinny mini. I am. I'm quite happy, um, with with my curves and my, you know, I've got lumps and bumps and, you know, it. I I don't care. I don't care. Mirrors are bad for your health, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so is like Facebook and all this social media. It's why I don't do a lot of it because, it's all fake. It's all fake. You don't wake up and look like that. You know, it's one of the reasons why I love the Frozen movie. Right? The princesses have got their gobs open whilst they're sleeping. Right? Yes! Amazingly enough, we all look like that. We look like a yeti with our hair all over the place, drool down our face, gobs wide open with the occasional little snort. Because we're snoring a little bit, you know. Some people snore quite a lot. Yes. Yes. That's what we look. <laughs> I've gone completely off on a tangent here. I don't know how I ended up where I'm, I ended up. I did I did forewarn you, though, that this was what was going to happen. Um. Ah. <laughs> uh. Anywho, yeah, well, I hope I've given you a good chuckle there. I certainly did myself. Um, <laughs> and we're coming towards the... Oh, no, we're, we've still got another colour to go yet. I don't make you sit through... On some of the lighter colours, I found that it, it wasn't pigmented enough to just do it in one coat, so I do come back and add a bit more to some of it. And, yeah, no, we've, we've got a... We've, yeah, we've got more... There is more painting coming, people. Um, I've completely forgotten where I was going with my conversation. Um, what are we talking about? Yeah, people in the gym. Yeah, I, I don't like the gym. Like, going to the gym. Um, I mean, I, I used to. I used to. But I've just had too many incidents in a gym where I just go, no. Just no. Like, the... The women that are in front of me that are wearing leggings that are see-through and they've got a thong or a G-string on. I'm like, you're in a gym, people. Firstly, why are you wearing that kind of underwear? You know, if you were serious about having a workout, you're not wearing your friggin' G-string, you're wearing your big-ass granny pants, right? No. Second of all, I don't need to see that. Right? I don't need to see that. You know, I even told one woman, I said, you know, me thinking, oh, well, perhaps she doesn't realise that it's, you know, because some leggings, they are, you know, they look fine from the front. But if you have any form of ass going on, that material stretched, it goes, hey, I'm on display. <laughs> um, so, you know, I would like somebody to come and tell me if I happened accidentally to be exposing myself to people. Um but yeah, so I went up to this this woman. Obviously, you know, she she just gone to go get some water, and I thought, okay, I'll just I was like, oh, um, just just in case you weren't aware, you you you, you know, um, your leggings are see through. We can see everything from the back. She says, oh yeah, I know. I'm like, ugh, really? And it's oh, honestly, it just it, it's like a pulling ground, and you're like, ugh, ugh. And then, of course, you get the, the the guys who are, you know, they're really into their weights. Who, every time that they, you know, go for a big... They're, they're up in their weights and they can do it and they fart as they come up. I mean, it happens. It does happen. I'm not, I'm not dissing them for that one. I'm just like, 
I'm, I'm quite all right being around my own farts and even, you know, close, close people to me. Random strangers, no. No, I don't want to be in a confined space with you whilst you're doing that every time you do a squat. <laughs> and let's not even talk about the sweatiness, right, and the people that don't clean down after themselves on oh, no. just no right just no I do I do enjoy the classes like I say I am very uncoordinated it's not a pretty sight um and I always seem to end up in that class with all the people that know what they're doing yep <laughs> so um yeah I, I I don't do the gym anymore I I have my little stuff at home I love weights um since covid i have had problems obviously the pandemic i still actually have not had covid um woo go me well not as far as i know anyway but um obviously because i i have damaged i'm damaged from childbirth basically and i go for regular treatment which i pay for which is brilliant but during the pandemic, I couldn't get any treatment. So it just got progressively worse and worse and worse to the point where I couldn't even really walk. Um, sitting down was so painful. I was I was I was in a very not happy place. Um and so even now, now that I'm back getting my treatment and it, it you know, what about six months now? Um I still I can I have to be very careful what I'm doing. So you know, I know I'm packing some extra pounds here. I'm not overly fussed about my weight, but th this is a bit, a bit more. But I'm not going to diet because it will make me miserable. Okay, it will make everybody around me miserable. So I am just upping my fitness, if you like, so the exercise side of things. But I have to do it carefully. Otherwise, I will just end up, you know, taking one step forward and ten steps back. Um, so, you know, I, I don't want to do that. I want to take it slowly. I want to do it nice and gently. Um, what I'm up to now? Oh, yeah, I'm making some, like, kind of flicky bits off them to make them kind of like, they look like cactuses now. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> probably tickle myself uh i've still got the image of me in a gym yeah because the other thing in a gym like you've got mirrors everywhere right you so you can't even pretend that you can't see what you look like whilst you're doing it because it's staring you in the face my my gym area has no mirrors okay i i can only inflict it on the neighbors which you know that's just fine don't look out your window if you don't want to see it um ah uh, right um <laughs> yes so we <laughs> uh, I am just going to add these flicky bits and I'm going to go through each colour and just add these on and then I'm trying to think did I come in with some spider chal as well at the end I don't know I genuinely can't remember but I'm actually I'm going to take a little break from <laughs> from talking right now um and so you can have a little bit of quiet just to enjoy this part and i will be back with you shortly
and I'm back. Yes, we're going to use some spider gel just to add, because obviously with my design, I've covered up a lot of the gold going on underneath, but I still want to incorporate that into this. So I'm just coming in to add a bit more um, onto it. And so I'm just going to kind of just flick it over each nail. Okay, cure that in the lamp and um, I think the 60 second cures. Most of these, these paints and everything are 60 second cures. Well, I cure them for 60 seconds because I work on the basis that they're so pigmented they probably will require a 60 second cure and I have an LED lamp. Okay, Whew. That, that, was a, that was a lot of talking going on there. <laughs> oh, you either love it or you hate it. I'm a little bit like Marmite. Okay, and then once this is done, I am just going to top coat over the top. And then that's it. Um, I showed it to my friend. I went, hey, look, you know that picture of the flowers sculpture you sent me? This is what I made. And he went, it looks like a phoenix. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, totally. That's, that's absolutely what I was going for. <laughs> it can be a phoenix. It can be a flower. It can be whatever. It's abstract. Just go with it. <laughs> oh, anywho i'm going to love and leave you all at this point i hope you've enjoyed so bye bye